follow me on Instagram. Hey everyone, it's Trevor. Welcome to another episode of Game with Trevor. Uh, obviously we're playing Pokemon Red here on my 3DS. And uh, today, I am going to be showing you, well, a couple things. We're going to be doing a couple things in this video. Uh, first and foremost, I'm over here on Route 25. And, yeah, we're going to go after an Abra now that we have Sleep Powder. ARE YOU SERIOUS? YOU'RE NOT FASTER THAN ME! <laughs> what? Okay, um... Let's try that again! Level 8. There's no way that damn thing was faster than me. Yep, oh, there it goes. Uh, if a move says that it doesn't affect the opposing Pokemon, it means it missed. Or avoided the attack, or evaded the attack, it means it missed. Alright, here we go, attempt number three with, with Sleep Powder. Thank God that worked. Uh, we're gonna try and absorb. Try absorb again. Perfect. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, here's the thing about sleep: that if a Pokemon wakes up, it wastes in a whole entire turn just to wake up. So we're gonna throw a Pokeball at it. Wow. Wow, I really thought I had it! Uh, there's one of your brethren. Wow, we're really off to a very pleasant start. Ran into an Abra three times. Really thought I had it. Actually, hold on a second. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna cut away until I find one. Attempt number four with Abra number, you know, number four of the video. Sleep powder! Thank God that worked. Alright, absorb. Uh, let's try it. Sleep. Okay, cool. We're gonna try that again. One, two, three. Yeah! God, about time. I will not give it a nickname because Abra is not gonna be my main psychic type. Um, you know what? I think I can just. Perform it here. Go away. Alright. Okay. 
Alright, so you wanna you wanna hit your menu button right as soon as that guy you know pops up on screen. So you're gonna go here to Pokemon, you're gonna go to uh, Abra, hit teleport, you're gonna warp to the last Pokemon you've seen. That dude's going to immediately assume, oh shit, I need to battle you. So it'll warp you here. And as you can see, you can't access your menu. So how do you fix that? Well, remember that one trainer I told you to, uh, to skip? Well, we're gonna go fight him. I've actually never performed this, uh, this special thing before, to be honest, guys. So this is, this is a first for me. So we're going to fight this kid. And this kid is very crucial to this, uh, to this main thing. Yeah, Bill was talking about us about that in the last episode. We're gonna fight this youngster, and he has a slow poke. So, in order for us, for everything to return back to normal, is we have to clear this fight. And you know, once we clear this- oh, confusion. Uh, once we clear this fight... Uh, everything will go back to normal. Alright, so we beat him. See, we can access the menu again. So we are going to teleport back into town at the last Pokemon Center. And so, we are now going to go <laughs> back up to the bridge. And right as soon as we step onto it, the menu is going to automatically pop up. Go ahead and hit cancel. And you get a battle. And oh my god, it's Mew! Yeah, this is how you get Mew. This is the Mew glitch. Now there are two versions, there are two methods that you can do uh, to get the Mew glitch. One is the one that I literally just did. And two, there's one that you have to do all the way towards, literally towards the end of the game, almost. So, if you want Mew on your team, I would recommend picking it up right here and now. Um, okay, so we are going to put it to sleep. The only thing I could probably take it to weaken it at a decent amount would probably be Skull Kraken. Because, you know, of its attack stat being so low. But that'll change once it's once it's evolved. Alright, tackle. Yeah, so. Now, here's the thing, Mew is considered as a, uh, a legendary, but I am going to use Mew on my team, because I've actually never used Mew on, on a team before, so yeah, I wanted to try something a little different. Should be that should be good right there. All right, let's start chucking the balls at it. Oh god, I don't know what happens if I completely run out of balls. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to switch back over to Oddish and, uh... Put it to sleep again. How did you literally wake up when I literally just used it? Alright. Now let's try. Jesus. One. Dude, are you serious? I actually don't know what you're supposed to do if I don't know what you're supposed to do if you run out of balls or if you knock it out I only have three balls left. So... I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, cool. We got Mew, the rarest Pokemon in Gen 1. So rare that it is still said to be a mirage by many experts. Only a few people have seen it worldwide. Uh, I want to give it a nickname. But I actually have no idea uh, what to nickname it. So... If anyone has any suggestions on a nickname for Mew, I will take it. So, please let me know in the comments below what you want me to uh, name Mew. But yeah, that's how you do the Mew glitch. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and heal and deposit some shit. And we will meet you in the gym where we're gonna fight Misty. All right, we're we're right here in front of Misty, and uh, we are going to go ahead and challenge her. Hi, you're a new face. Trainers who want to turn pro have the, have to have a policy about Pokemon. What is your approach when, a, when you catch Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water types. Alright, here we go. It's time to go after our second gym badge, guys. So, here we have Misty. She has two Pokemon. Sorry, I had to turn off my phone real quick. Alright, so first off, Staryu, level 18, water type, with the moves Tackle and Water Gun. So, um, best thing for you to do is just, well, have either a Grass type or an Electric type. So, since I have Ivysaur, it'll be, it's gonna be down with this hit of, oh, okay. Bam. Star you down. And her last one. Back up, skull cracking. Starmie, level 21. Water Psychic type with the moves. Uh, let's see here. Uh, tackle, Water Gun, and Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam is the main move 
for uh, Starmie here. So we're going to switch back over to Ivysaur. And X Defend? Oh yeah, uh, gym leaders will be armed with uh, X moves. I am not a fan of X move or X items, like X accuracy, X defense, and you know, stuff like that. I'm not a fan. But yeah, Starmie may be a psychic type, it has no psychic moves in its arsenal, it's just all primarily water types. And we did it! Ivysaur Girls level 21, and we defeated Misty! Wow, you're too much. Alright, you can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even Outsiders. So basically, if you traded a Pokemon, and it will listen to you all the way up until it gets to level 30. So when it hits level 30 for that traded Pokemon, it will start ignoring you. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. You can also have my favorite TM. TM11, which is... Bubble Beam. Using it on an aquatic Pokemon. Well, the only aquatic Pokemon we have on our team is Magikarp. But, unfortunately, Magikarp can't do anything with it for another four levels. So, yeah, I'm kind of screwed on that department. So, we're going to go and heal. And I shall be right back. Oh, uh, one thing I should mention before we end up leaving this town forever is that this dude right here. Oh, okay, that's a woman. But, uh, this dude right here will trade you a Poliwhirl for a Jinx. Um, you can't get Poliwhirl in the game for a little while. But I'll make note of when you're able to get a Poliwhirl. But just so you know, this guy will trade a Poliwhirl for a Jinx. And this is the only way you can get Jinx in the game. Um, I won't be using Jinx in, the, in this game, but uh, just know, yeah, that's, that's there. So, we gotta go through this place. Oh god, what happened here? Dig the way into no good. Well, funny you should mention that. Those miserable rockets, look what they did here. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle, it did. Well, oh my god, here we go, we, we got a subversive here. Hey, stay out! It's not your yard! Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander! Don't you believe me? Yeah, I really don't there, buddy. We got another rocket here. Oh, Machop. Um, yeah, we're gonna switch over to Billy. shit out of it. Let it die. Ooh, take it, take it. Yes! Awesome. Awesome. Drowsy? Oh, that's, that's a new Pokemon we haven't seen before. Uh... Do I want to switch? Yes, I do. Drowsy! 
Uh, we will go over Drowsy when we have the chance to uh, catch one. So I'm not going to really say anything here, other than the fact that it's pretty much a, uh, it's more of a defensive psychic type. That's all I'm going to say about it for right now. And speaking of which, I have all these potions, and I'm going to use them. Disable, as you saw it do, disable pretty much, um, you can't use a move if it's disabled, but it's, in Gen 1, disable is kind of useless, because it'll randomly pick a move that is, uh, disabled, but in later games, you get to, you, you kind of have to be a little uh, strategic about it. Cause it'll, cause disable in other games will disable the move that your opponent last used. So for example, if I, if I last use Fury Attack and it used disable, then my Fury Attack is disabled. Just to, you know, put it as an example. Oh, there's the disable. See, it just randomly disabled Growl. So yeah, I can't use Growl. Skullcracker move level 17. And we defeated this rocket grunt. Stop! I'll give! I'll leave quietly! Okay, I'll return the tea in my stole. We got TM twenty eight. I better be. I better get moving. Bye. So TM twenty eight is dig. That is a very useful ground move. Uh, we're gonna talk to this dude. I figured what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. Uh. Ziggler can learn it naturally. Oh, there's a cop right here. People here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket was behind this most heinous crime. Even our police has trouble with the rockets. Oh yeah, I just took care of it. Alright. So, if you leap down that way, you're back in Cerulean. So in order to move on, you gotta go this way. All right, we're here on Route Five. Uh, let's see here. According to my notes, there are two new Pokemon, and they're both version exclusives. Uh, on this route in Red, which is the game we're playing right here, uh, the new Pokemon is, if I can actually find it, that would be pretty cool because it is one of my personal favorites. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of rare, but, you know, that is not, uh, the one I'm talking about. But, uh, in red, on this route, you can find Mankey, which is the first fighting type that you can actually, you know, go after. And in blue, you get Everyone's favorite antagonist, Meowth. But yeah, uh, this here, this is the daycare man. Uh, yes. I want you to uh, take Skullkraken for a little bit. Please and thank you. He, basically, you get one experience point every four or five, you get one experience point per step you take.
I just actually need to uh, check something real quick. Yeah, so we're gonna walk for a little while. Okay, we'll see you. Now here's the thing, sometimes when you leave a Pokemon in daycare, uh, they will learn a new move, which if they do, uh, it will just, you know, get, you know, added on there. But if there's already four moves, and it learns a new move, uh, the move that is on top will get pushed out, so it can learn the new one. Which, sometimes you can get pretty strategic about that. But, uh, anyways. We're just gonna go ahead and walk around a little bit. So... I guess while we're walking around... And, you know, getting Skullcrack into at least to, at least to 19. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call it quits for this video. Uh, I will also take the time to train Mew off screen. So that way Mew is at least on par with everyone else. Because, uh, yeah, we're in the upper teens, low 20s, and Mew's just at here at 7. In fact, what are Mew's stats? Okay, that's actually not bad. But, uh, we're going to... Put Mew up front. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Of whatever it is. And... You know, we'll be continuing on our Pokemon pilgrimage. We'll see you later.